Ansible is a simple, powerful, agentless tool for automating and orchestrating IT infrastructure, all the way from Linux systems to Windows to cloud platforms to network infrastructure, and the use cases keep growing. As the number of nodes and systems and types of systems have grown exponentially, there really was a need to automate this stuff and to make it available to all parts of IT and IT automation. And this is one way that we see Nagios going hand in hand with what Ansible does, because they're both powerful and flexible tools that allow you to both monitor and check what's happening and then to react to it and remediate what is happening in your IT stacks. In the old days, you would have a server closet and you could walk up to physical machines and point out and say, this is your web server, this is the database server, this is the mail server. Now today you have cloud systems, you have containerized systems, you have all this network infrastructure. The systems are growing exponentially. They're almost conspiring against IT in order to get things done and to keep things running 24 seven and five nines. So it requires a new way of thinking and, and, and tool sets that allow you to uh, both monitor and then quickly remediate the problems that you see out there or the changes to your environment. One of the, the driving philosophies and principles of Ansible was to be as flexible as possible, to still be powerful but still also remain simple in what it was doing. And a key to that was its agentless architecture. And that makes it extremely flexible in the ability to fit into use cases like the one that Nagios has. You can deploy all the agents, configure them, and upgrade, patch, and maintain them over time. You can also automate, as you're uh, upgrading your IT infrastructure, the interactions with Nagios is monitoring to take things out of monitoring while you're working on them, and then to put them back in once they're ready. We're not about making a, a team of five be able to do the work of, of 10, but a, a team of 10 being able to do the work of 100 people to free them up to do the really important business critical tasks that only they can do and to free them up from the mundane repetitive work that is necessary uh, in order to keep all these IT stacks running.